Dylan PD tackles mental health crises with free gun storage. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, I-70 traffic was down for a third straight weekend to its lowest level since a June snowstorm. Just shy of 138,000 vehicles passed through both bores of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday. That's the lightest since the summer solstice, when traffic hit 125,000 vehicles as a basin got two to three blustery inches. Daily traffic this weekend averaged 45,960 vehicles, still 11.5% higher than daily averages last August. A fake bomb threat led to road closures and one arrest in Eagle Vale, where dozens of residents evacuated a condo complex on U.S. Highway 6. The Vale Daily reports Carl Krensis is in custody today on one felony charge of false reporting and two misdemeanors. He allegedly reported that bomb threat around 11 last night. Authorities evacuated residents at Sun River Condos and swept the area, finding nothing. Residents returned home around 2.30 a.m. Krensis faces 12 to 18 months in jail and fines up to $100,000 for the felony. Dillon Police Department is launching a new program this week, giving locals a safe place to store firearms when they or loved ones are in crisis. For people who might at some point want to bring in their firearms for safe storage while they were possibly in a mental health crisis. That was Police Chief Mark Hemminghouse describing Dillon's new program through Colorado Firearms Safety Coalition. It's voluntary, open to anyone, and comes with no charges, separate from controversial red flag laws. We are happy to give people a break from from their firearms if they're just not feeling safe having them in their residence. Hemminghouse believes this is the perfect time for judgment-free gun lockers, as more than 23,000 people die annually in the U.S. from self-inflicted gunshot wounds. There are enough statistics out there to prove that if people don't have easy access to their firearms or to someone else's firearms, it does prevent suicides. The firearm safety program is statewide, sponsored by the University of Colorado and State Public Health Department. Dillon is the first local PD to join. They accept firearms from any summit resident. The federal government wants to update environmental protection policies for public lands, including the National Forest Service and all five local ski areas. Changes to NEPA, the National Environmental Policy Act, are part of a 2018 omnibus bill that comes with $20 billion in new wildfire funding. Bill Jackson of Dillon Ranger District. It actually creates an emergency funding source, much like a natural disaster, you know, after a hurricane or a tornado. That bill also streamlines the NEPA process. Proponents say it cuts down on redundant analysis for overworked districts. Opponents fear it could fast-track activity like logging or mining. It certainly would help with making decisions on the ground happen quicker. The Forest Service handles 3,000 NEPA requests per year, including dozens for ski resort chairlifts and lodges. That new bill excludes most resort projects, meaning a full environmental analysis is not required beginning in 2020. That does not include trail or terrain expansions. An amazing performance from the American as Chloe Digert owen is the 2019 champion. American cyclist Chloe Digert owen crushed the field at the Colorado Classic last week, becoming inaugural GC winner of the race's new female only format. This will be unprecedented. Never in the history of a women's race have we seen a rider win every stage, go on to win the GC, and sweep all four jersey competitions. Digert Owen took the leader's jersey Thursday in Steamboat Springs and never gave it up, claiming her fourth stage win and the overall title in downtown Denver yesterday. The team show air 2020 rider also won four of four jerseys for sprint leader, queen of the mountain, and best young rider. Local fire danger is high today with stage one restrictions. Fires are banned in undeveloped areas. Backyard fires and fires at established campsites are okay. In sports, the Rockies are playing the Braves right now in Atlanta. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Cross Country opened the season last Friday in Colorado Springs up against runners from 20 schools where the Tigers had three boys in the top 15 for a fourth place team finish. Girls team finished 13th. Jeremiah Vale was top boy in sixth overall. Grace Stayberg was best girl, finishing 10th. The high school mountain bike season opened Saturday on the Frisco Peninsula where the Tigers varsity team took third overall, led by Tylee Smith in first for girls, Lassie Konechny in second for boys. Today, boys Boys soccer opens the season against Delta at home, and the golf team is in Grand Junction. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.